Hey, football fans! Welcome back to Football News Center. Today, we're discussing a disturbing incident that took place at the Hawthorns during the derby between West Brom and Birmingham City. Birmingham winger Juninho Bakuna reported being subjected to racist abuse by a fan in the crowd. This is the second time Bakuna has reported such an incident this season, and it's absolutely unacceptable. Birmingham manager Tony Mowbray is calling for stronger punishments for racist abuse in football, and we couldn't agree more. Mowbray expressed his frustration, saying, the consequences for racially abusing footballers have got to be stronger. And he's right. We can't let these incidents go unpunished. Bakuna recognized the individual who targeted him and pointed him out to the referee. The club and the authorities are now investigating the incident. West Brom issued a statement after the game, offering their full support to the police's criminal investigation. They also stated that they will take a strong stance against all forms of discrimination and ensure that anyone found guilty of racism faces the toughest legal punishment and a lifetime ban from the Hawthorns. Birmingham City, on the other hand, thanked the stewards, security, and the executive team at the Hawthorns for their immediate action in response to Bakuna's complaint. They stand firmly behind their player and are providing him with their unwavering support. Unfortunately, this is not the first time racism has reared its ugly head in football. Bakuna has previously faced racial abuse on social media and at his own home ground. Birmingham City owner Tom Wagner has even threatened a lifetime ban for those responsible. It's clear that more needs to be done to eradicate racism from the beautiful game. This incident serves as a reminder that we must continue to fight against racism in football. Players, clubs, and fans must come together to create an inclusive and welcoming environment for everyone. Let's support Jininho Bakuna and all those who have experienced racism, and let's demand stronger punishments for those who perpetrate such hate. That's all for today's update. Stay tuned to Football News Center for more news and updates from the world of football. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. Until next time, keep the love for the game alive and remember, there's no place for racism in football.